Hey everyone, it's your Sally Coach, and this is going to be a video about the complete columnar cipher containing a keyword. So let's get started. So we know that the first thing to do for a complete columnar cipher is to calculate the number of letters in the text. So we can count up in groups of five and see that it has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, and 66 total letters. So let's put that off to the side so we know that we have 66 letters. Now that we know this, we can take our keyword and then see that it has a total of five letters, T-R-E-E-S. If we add one to that amount of letters, we can get our number of columns and then split up our text. With that knowledge, we now have six columns and 11 rows because 66 divided by six equals 11. Now we can split it up into groups of 11. So we have this five here, five here, we can split it up with the T mark. 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11, we can split up right here, and then we have 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, we have 2 plus 5 which is 7, 7 plus 4 is 11, and we have 1 plus 5 6, 6 plus 5 11, and then 11 in the end. So now that we've done this, we can put our starting letters to the side and try our best to descramble them. So we have the starting letters of D, we have H, and then we have Y. We also have um, O, and then N, and then W. So before we start descrambling these, we can see that these two letters own N end with an X in their segment. So right here, right? That's important to know because having that X at the end means that it's going to be a filler letter. Now, this isn't true all the time. It's just true most of the time. So whenever we have an X at the end, this means like as we're writing it out downwards and it has an X, right? That means that once the cipher is over, like this is going to be the quotes and then it only goes up to here. It's, it doesn't go through all of the rows. That's why this one's a little bit easier with an X because it tells us that it doesn't end completely and there's some um, less letters, right? So using that knowledge, we can say that N and O, they go at the end. We're not sure how, but we know that N and O go at the end. So now we have the letters W, H, Y, and D, right? So we can put W, H, and Y into one word into Y, right? I feel like that's a good word to use because D doesn't really make sense here. So it probably is connected to another letter out here. So D and O doesn't make sense, but D O N does. So we can change this to writing W, let me get rid of these, W H Y D O N. This makes more sense. And it also makes extra sense because this one could probably end with a T. That's why we use our secondary, tertiary, quaternary letters as in the secondary or the following letters in our segments to make this true or not. So let's look at our W segment. So we have W segment right here and the secondary letter shown right here is a T. So after the D-O-N, it's a T. So this now makes sense because we have the word Y and then we have the word don't. This is why it makes sense, right? So now that we know that this works, we can write out the rest of the cipher. So let's go to W and start writing it out. We have E, I, I, then we have N, B, E, R, L, A. Next, we have our H, right? H is gonna be Y, if we're looking at this one right here. We have Y, R, P, R, P, D, T, E, T, E, Y, T. Next, we have our Y. Y is going to fall right here. So we have Y, O, S. And then we have Perch, P, I, R, C, H, and then we have 
RGI. And that will be it for this segment. So it's like a D now, that first one right here. D U E O N E A E E O T. Now we have the last two O and N. So you have E. Um, and then we have E after that, S, G, E, U, Y, A, O, X. And then for N, we have, this is N right here, V, H, H, I, S, S A L D X. So this now says, why don't you ever see hippos hiding in trees because they are really good at it. A little joke right there as the quote. Now, once you're done with this, you're going to have to write all of it out. And that's pretty important to do because some people, what they do is they make this entire array. They finish up the entire cipher, but they forget to write the entire thing out. I'm not going to write it out just to waste time, right? But after you're done with this, you always have to write it out. So that's going to be it for the complete columnar video with keyword. And if you want to watch it without keyword at medium difficulty, click on the video shown to your left. And if you want to watch an extremely hard complete columnar getting solved without any keyword, click on the video to your right. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.